friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share another Wild Hair Kits layout with you. And um, this is actually a 12 by 12 layout, which I don't love doing, but the idea I had in mind um, fit a 12 by 12 layout better than it would eight and a half by 11. So what you saw there was kind of the rough idea, but I'm gonna start off by putting some pink watercolor in the background. These are not good quality watercolors by any means, and I think I would have rather used better quality watercolor and also better brushes, but I knew this was just gonna be rough paint strokes. I didn't want anything too intricate, so I wasn't too worried about it. Um, it's definitely more pink in person than it appears in the picture. I was trying to match the pink color that was in the um, in the uh, ephemera that I use, but it's a little bit brighter than planned. But you know what? In the end, that's okay. I'm not too bothered by it, but I do wish it was more of like a softer color. Um, and yeah, I have really bad paintbrushes and whatever. I'm over it now. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so there you can see it's dried now. Um, but you end up not really seeing too much of any, too much of it anyway, so it doesn't bother me a whole lot. If you would like to see the unboxing of this kit to know what stuff I'm playing with, then you are welcome to click the link that I'll put down below of the unboxing video because I know for me, I kind of like to have that little reference of, of what, what I, what I'm working with here, you know? So this is a Pink Fresh Studio 6x6 paper pad and I'm going to layer up some papers. Um, I matted this photo on, you saw that it's a white paper but it has some designs on it so I thought it worked well. And then I'm just, just ripping up some little papers to layer behind the photo. I feel like I am going to, these kits are going to last forever, like more than the month. Um, I mean, so far as I'm recording this, I'm recording this a couple weeks in advance. I've made three layouts and a project life spread, but I haven't even put a dent in it and I still have lots to go, which is very exciting. So hopefully you'll see at the end of the month, um, kind of a, I don't know, kill a kit kind of video where I show you everything that I've made with the kit and what I have left, and I think I have made a lot of things. I know this is this is only the beginning of the month that I'm recording this, but I think I'm going to have a lot of projects done, which is pretty sweet. So anyway, I'm just layering those things together, and this is kind of the composition I want. It's just, I don't know, I just kind of had this in mind. I didn't know what it would look like, if it would look any good, and I'm not a huge fan of 12 by 12 layouts, so it was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But you know what? I'm happy with it, and I think it looks good. And um, yeah, so there are a few things that I'm a little iffy on, the 12 by 12 and the pink watercolor, but otherwise, I love this layout. And I got the, um, I think it's the Here and There Ephemera by Crepe Paper, and I love it. Um, I love everything that's in it. My husband and I went on a trip to Arizona, and so this um, kit is perfect for that, which I asked for, which is another awesome thing about the kits is that you can ask exactly for what you would like or what the theme is, and so I said that I wanted a travel theme kit because I'm going on this trip, and she set, excuse me, set that up for me really nicely. So I'm just loving putting all these layers together, the tags and that little journaling thing and um, really loving where this is going so far. So I'm putting those layers together and then I figure it's about time to adhere it down, I think. I look at the stickers, but I don't really use a lot of the stickers. I got the, um, what was it, uh, Wild Wild Heart or Wild at Heart Um sticker sheet from Crate Paper. And I put my title on the side here, which I just should have left. <laughs> I mean, that is that is how it ends up, but it was really annoying because like I had a different idea, which you'll see in a few minutes, of putting, making it like wild memories or something like that. And then I, it was too high and then, and then I decided I didn't even like it. And so I took it all off and then moved it all back. And it was really annoying. Um, I'm going to put this up on foam, but I end up adding another layer of foam just because 
it still seemed really flat to the paper and I really wanted it to stand out. So you will see me add another layer of foam shortly. It's just like craft foam that you get from like the kids section, kids craft section at Walmart or Michaels or whatever. And I'm going to put some of, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put some of the other pieces of ephemera up on foam and I really think that helps give it some more interest. It, it would have been way too flat if I kept it, uh, if I didn't put anything on foam, it just would have been way too flat. So I like that there's one element on each um, rectangle part, I guess, that is uh, up on foam and I think that really brings it all together. And I'm just going to put that second layer of foam on like I talked about. I don't know about you, but my, uh, my um, adhesive doesn't really stick too well to the foam unless I go really, really slow, which is kind of weird, but that's all right. I learned that if you go slow, it will actually work. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm happy with the way this is turning out. And this is a picture of my husband and I, like I said, on our trip to uh, Arizona. And we did this intense hike. Well, it was intense for me. This intense hike to Devil's Bridge. So yeah. Um... I will say that I'm glad I did it, but I will also say that I will never do it again <laughs> unless I'm like super, super in shape one day and it's like no problem for me to do hikes, then maybe I will. But at this point in my life, uh, -uh. <laughs> like I said, I'm glad I did it and we got cool photos and it was quite the adventure and quite an experience. Um, it was very, very, very hot um, it's hot here where I am in Canada, but it wasn't that kind of hot. So we left at seven in the morning and it took about three hours total, but it was still like insanely hot. We should have left earlier, <laughs> but that's okay. So here's the part that I was, am really annoyed about that I wrote, um, wild memories and didn't look good. And I thought it would, I thought it would look cool because it was a wild memory, but but, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so that was our trip. You are probably going to be seeing a ton more videos and layouts using this kit and, um, of this trip as well, because when I, um, got my kit, if you don't know wild hair kits, it's, they, uh, hand like curate you a, a kit. So you kind of say what you would like and what kind of projects you're working on. And I told her we're going on a trip to Arizona. And so I would like travel, travel, um, like ephemera on papers and stuff. So yeah, basically like a travel kit. And, uh, that's exactly what she made me and I love it. So there we go. It's back to just a plain memories. I didn't like it cause there was like a lot of empty trapped space between the word, like at the front and the back of the word. And I just didn't like that. So now I'm adding the last touches, the enamel dots. Um, as you can see, I have put that flare button on the bottom and I think that's really cute. Um, I'm going to add some Heidi Swap gold color shine. Um, I add a few more stickers. So there does um, end up being a lot of gold. I didn't have any other tiny word stickers because I've been using them up in all my other layouts just because it's something I always use. So there were just the gold ones left and the, the phrases don't totally make sense, but <laughs> that doesn't bother me one bit. Um, might bother some people that the phrases or words have to like match exactly what the picture is, but because it says paradise found and yeah, that is pretty cool. That's, oh, I love Sedona. It's like a paradise to us. Um, I mean, I've only been there twice now, but we've, we love it there. Um, so that is paradise. And I guess we found it, found paradise after our silly hike, but the hiking part part was not very paradise-y. <laughs> anyway, um, and yes, I guess we're besties too. That one says besties. <laughs> not the most appropriate stickers for this specific picture because it's a very specific picture, but what stickers are going to be right for it anyway? So here I'm coming in with the Heidi Shine because... Um, there was a lot of gold coming into it, so I felt like I needed to bring it all together. 
and I did it at the three different kind of cluster points. And here are a little bit of close-ups and there is the layout and I, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think it's going to go really well in my um, scrapbook and yeah, it's a fun layout. It's cool. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'll have links down below and I hope you have a great day. Bye.